Hello folks, this is Tom from anti-proton.com and I'm uh, a little bit disheveled here. It's really really bright out but I just got to uh, work here. I'm in my car I'm about to go in and I can't really show any of that. So I'm just going to show you uh, me talking in the phone. Uh, the Richmond Times Dispatch, and that's in Richmond, Virginia, just put out a uh, article saying that uh, uh, North Anna Nuclear Power Station had admitted, uh, uh, go figure, that they had found uh, uh, tritium, which is a radioactive material, in groundwater, well specifically in a well, let's be a little more accurate, in a, in a confined well, but then again how confined is a well to the groundwater? I mean what do you think feeds the well in the first place, but whatever. They found the uh, uh, tritium floating around in there, and the activity they found was uh, uh, stated as 53,300 uh, uh, picocaries per liter, and to put that into um, maybe a little bit more understandable terms, that's uh, 1,972 becquerels per liter. Now to put that into uh, maybe something we can all understand, those little check sources that I play with, those little circular things, they look like a poker chip. The smaller ones that I play with that are about a tenth of a microcurie, that's how much energy is in them, a tenth of, a, not energy, but how many decays per second they put out, a tenth of a microcurie, that's one of those for every two liter bottle that's a large soda bottle. I don't know like over in the UK and stuff exactly how many milliliters you guys come out with, but it's it's a lot. And uh, basically put, it's a, it's a reasonable, reasonably large amount of uh, radioactivity to find just floating around in water. I mean, it's not going to cause radiation sickness or anything like that. They say it's safe. I'd like to see the, the, the people at a um, North Anna Nuclear Power Station happily, uh, you know, drink some of the water to prove how safe. you got to give credit to that guy in Japan, the uh, uh, the um, uh, governmental guy in Japan who said that the water was safe and they challenged him to drink it, and he did. He probably is going to die but from cancer, but, um, but I give the man credit. He at least did what he said, even though he looked like he was about to wet himself the whole time. Uh, regardless, there you go. On a side note, um, the uh, uh, American Physical Society Nuclear uh, uh, Nuclear uh, Physics Group, uh, which I'm a member of, just sent me this little booklet here, which I think is the most awesomest thing, and I figured I would just show it to you. If you're going to have an organization, pass out little booklets like this. That's awesome. Look at this little thing. It has every single nuclear, uh, um, uh, uh, well, every single isotope that you could ever imagine in it, all the data on every single one of them, every little piece of information I could ever want to know. Let's see what it says about tritium. Let's see. Tritium, 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 tritium. Let's see. Beryllium, hydrogen. Here we go. Hydrogen 3. No, hydrogen 2. No, hydrogen. Here we go. Hydrogen 3. It looks like it has a um, half-life of 12.32 years, which we already knew anyway, and it undergoes beta minus decay, which is correct. Okay, so the little booklet's useful. Anyhow, um, I thought this was important enough to post, and I'll see if I can put a link into the information thing as soon as this comes up. By the way, if I look half asleep, it's because I'm half asleep. I haven't had my coffee yet. I better get into work before I get fired. Well, I wouldn't get fired. I have way too much code to write. If they fired me, they'd have to write the code themselves. But anyhow, uh, this has been Tom from anti-proton.com, and bye-bye. Uh,